I'm a police officer with the Surrey RCMP. My role would be a general duty, so a first responder. If you were to call 911, then I'm the person that attends. Over a year ago, 15-year-old Jamie Hoobly took his life in Ontario. Across the country, an RCMP officer named Tad was inspired to take action. The very first speaking uh, visit that I did was in February of 2012. I went to see a Gay Straight Alliance in a local high school here in Surrey. The reason for that is I wanted to basically get a feel for what it's like to be in high school nowadays and I wanted to, to see firsthand what the youth are going through and, and what it's like and their courage and, and their strength. So I went and met with them and they asked me two questions that stood out to me to this day. One is, how am I so lucky? And the other is, why am I so confident? And it just resonated with me in such a way that it got me thinking that I need to, to understand what they were saying and that they were looking up to me at that point. And I recognized that if, if this group is, is looking for someone to look up to, maybe there's other youth. The website started out with a single page. I, 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 I've never done anything to do with, with uh, website production. I had to come up with a site name first. And I thought, you know, what's, what, what do I want my message to be? And I was lucky enough that Bullying Ends Here was available. By going there, I, I think I've got absolutely everything about me, my experiences, where I've been, where I'm at, where I'm going, uh, the successes of the website itself, um, you know, media clips to, you know, Jamie Hoobly is, is my, my inspiration. J Jamie Hoobly is the reason why I do what I do today. Uh, he's, he's an individual that October 14th of 2011, he took his own life uh, at the age of 15. I'm reading this story of this youth that is everything that I only wish I could have been when I was in high school. You know, he was trying to spread the message of tolerance and acceptance and understanding and, and I didn't do any of that. And that's what he was trying to do, but he couldn't do it anymore because he was, he was getting bullied so, so badly um, to the extreme that that's when I recognized that it's time for me to, to come forward and do whatever I can. So I'm taking Jamie's story and my story starts exactly where his left off. My story starts with, with recognizing that he was trying to gather youth together in a classroom to, to have them be able to understand that, you know, in his case being gay, in my case being gay, that um, there, we're the same people. No matter what our uniqueness is in society, whether it's uh, religion or culture or background, our size, our color, our age, it doesn't matter. We're all still the same individuals that he wanted to break down those barriers and, and no one came to see him that day. And that was, that was the breaking point for Jamie. He, he was thinking he did everything he could, absolutely everything he could. So I gather people up in a classroom now. It's uh, because I have the blessings of teachers and principals. They all come to that classroom and that's when I share my story. That's when I share Jamie's story. And then that's when I say what my uniqueness is and that's that I'm gay. Tad was amazed by the overwhelming response to his talks. I'm putting myself out there. I'm, I'm uh, making, making it very clear what my uniqueness is, what my challenges in life with growing up are. Um, I'm making sure that I don't forget how I felt and how to this day I still feel about certain things. And I convey that to the youth so that I make sure that we, when we're done our talk on whatever day that, that we're meeting, that they understand I know exactly how it feels to be where they are today. Um, that they know when I leave that they have a brand new best friend and that's me and I will be there for them every step of the way no matter where they live and I want them to know that that um, they're not alone so they can just just simply tell me how they're feeling and and whatever next step is it's gonna be their choice and letting them know that um, uh, that life is awesome and and I'm gonna help them get to to the stage of when they can see that for themselves in combating bullying in our schools. I'd like to thank Tad Millmine for sharing his stories. You can find out more information on the website below. I'm Natasha for Gen Y.